Marco <laughs> Rubio may be the target of an assassination plot, and that plot's coming from one of Venezuela's most powerful leaders. Joining us now, Vanessa Newman, the president of Asymmetrica. Now, I don't know whether this is a serious threat or not. You know more about it than I do. Right. Is it? He's got a security detail on it. Well, yeah, he does. Apparently, his security detail has grown, and that's how this story sort of first, uh, first broke. It's entirely possible. I mean, they're, they're, this is crazy cartel behavior. And, uh, drug cartel. Drug behavior. cartel behavior. This is what people need to realize. Venezuela is being ruled by a drug cartel. This is not a government. And if you look at the sanctions that the U.S. government has issued, they refer to it as linked to the Flores DTO, Drug Trafficking Organization, which is the wife of the president. And Diosdado Cabello is one of the biggest, uh, you know, narco kingpins. So, and everybody knows that. And is that, is the army yes. run by generals yes. who are in league with the Correct. drug dealers? We call it the Cartel of the Sons. The cartel of the sons. The, because they have little sun insignias, the generals. So things are not going to get better. <laughs> no. I always imagined that, okay, that it's a di socialist dictatorship, an yeah. arco dictatorship. Correct. I would have thought that at some point the army would stage a coup. Exactly. And away we go and everything's going to get better. But no, not no. happening? Well, we don't know. I mean, we're having little skirmishes of like smaller, uh, you know, smaller units of the military lower down are now fighting their senior commanders. And we're having, we have had several of those skirmishes flare up. The, the Venezuelan opposition is now trying to plead with them to help them, liberate them from this. Mm. So also, you know, this talk about will the United States yes, go, the go pre in? President Trump has not ruled out. He's not no. taken it off the table. No. I'm not sure many people think it's going to happen, but it's, it's on the table. Well, what do Venezuelans think about well, that? Vene well, actually, there was a, there's a rather hilarious clip of that the Venezuelan government did a poll of, you know, what, what do you think of this horror that Trump's going to invade? And they went live on TV and they're like, wait a minute, 79% of Venezuelans are like, yes, please. And then, <laughs> no, no, absolutely. And it was hilarious. And you have the presenter going, this can't be right. <laughs> that happened. And it is. It, it happened. It happened. And it's hilarious because from the point of view of Venezuelans, they view that, you know, the opposition that we were invaded long ago. We've got Iranians. Yeah. We've got Cubans. Yeah. Well, the reason why Venezuelans are so oppressed is because Chavez gave them the power. It's written into law in 2006 to rule the military. So our military is ruled by foreign forces. Is there, there's no way around serious bloodshed, you think? No, I don't think that there really is. There's talk about negotiated solution, etc., but it has gotten it hasn't gotten us anywhere. We've been negotiating for years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your company, yes. uh, Asymmetrica. Yes. You deal in political risk? We do a lot of political risk analysis. We specialize a lot in Latin America and sometimes also in, in Africa and we do illicit trade. Last so one. we do intelligence. I got 20 seconds. Yes. Should I buy Venezuelan bonds? <laughs> no. No, no. Okay. Wait till there's a transition then you can invest. We'd like really <laughs> Straightforward answers. That was a good one. Exactly. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate Thank you it. for having me. Okay. Thank you.